Hey guys, what's up? Nick here once again. We're going through another playthrough of Twisted Metal Small Brawl with Shadow today. Uh, we are doing it multi-stream, so you're going to see both YouTube and Twitch comments on the side there. So say hello to everyone live watching. And if you want to be a part of the live streams for the next one, make sure to subscribe so you check out the stream. And I hope to we'll see you there. But yeah, uh, Shadow in this game is probably one of my favorite, if not is my favorite version of Shadow in, in any of the games in the entire series. I just think overall they're stacked, man. Like their stats don't really do themselves justice. I think they feel a little bit faster than what their top speed's showing here. Their armor is really decent. Their handling's really good, and their special weapon just is insanely strong. It is a little inaccurate. You have to be pretty uh, strong with the the aim of it. But if you can get that hit, man, it does some massive damage. Looking at their character here, Shadow is controlled by Mortimer. An odd, gangly boy who enters the contest to win back his pet frog from the clutches of the evil Calypso. As one does, yeah. Alright, so let's get into it. And we're back, baby! First level in the game. There's the duck, almighty duck. Let's see some duck spam. Praise Lord to our, our duck Jesus. Like, look at that, even Darkseid has some of the best armor in the game just demolished by that special weapon dude absolutely bonkers oh it's not up here did you take my heal why'd you take my heal bro oh yeah look at that tom is showing that duck love everyone's showing the duck love worship the crusher <laughs> holy god duck i'm sorry oh lord i didn't mean to say that in front of you i should not have said worship crusher in front of the duck he didn't like that I love the par uh, Playground Perils theme song. Isn't it just a remake of the TM2 Los Angeles theme? I think. Which is a banger, so it makes sense. But I can't remember. Oh, I forgot to turn the volume a little bit too. The duck is angry. Got me a hammerhead. You only got seconds to live. I'm sorry. Oh my god, really? Oh, my aim right now. Stop turning. My God. When I say you have seconds to live, I mean it. You have seconds to live. Bitch. Shadow special damage is 30% more if it hits directly or is detonated. I forget which. I think it's direct hit. Yeah, I think you're 100% right with the direct hit. Because you can detonate it if it misses, but it doesn't do as much damage. Take take my napalm. Sir, not napalm. What do you call these things? Hmm. I always forget the Roman candles. I always forget the name of them. Nope. Let's see if we can get a direct hit. Oh yeah. Come on. No. No. That was bad. They just they just keep it to themselves. Oh god. Ow. Literally got hit in midair by a sweet tooth special and thrown into the giant <laughs> saw blade. TM2 LA music is God, but Head On sucks. I actually dig some of Head On's music though. I don't mind it too much. It, it also isn't copyrighted, so I have to give them props for that. Sadly, all of TM2's music is copyrighted now because they brought them back to the PS5 with the new digital download versions. So that is a big kick in the, in the penis, but gotta deal with what we have. Oh, nice. He came back. For some reason, I thought Kamikaze from 2012 was supposed to be a remake of Crazy 8 from Twisted Metal Black because of the ability to send out Shockwave EMP blasts. Hmm. That would have been a really odd choice as a remake for Crazy 8, though. Because they, they pretty much, other than that, have nothing in common. But I guess I can understand the, the Shockwave thing. And it sucks that we would have actually gotten Crazy 8 as a character in 2012 if we would have gotten the DLC. It just sucks that never became a thing. Tokyo's music and head-on gives me PTSD, I swear. Yeah. Yeah, that one is not... That's more of like an annoying... It's one of those songs that get stuck in your head, but in a bad way. I am mixed with the design of Shadow in this game. What do you think? I think it's great. I love it. For for It's supposed to be like a kid's, you know, RC car. And I like that it's still a hearse. I like that it's got this, like the spikes on the side, I like the purple and black aesthetic. 
The skull and crossbones in the back windows look really good. I think it's one of the better looking shadows. But if I was to choose a favorite design of shadow in any game, maybe... Oh, this is tough, because they're all really good, but... That's not what I need to do. Wait, what? Did I just throw a, a Roman candle in his ass and I did the same thing as a napalm? Did we just witness something for the first time? Everything in this game is perfect except Warhog. Facts. I like how the hearse has racing stripes. I, it works with one other than the napalm. Yeah, I never knew that. That was the first time I've ever done that. That's cool. They are still fire, I guess. Yeah, that's true. Even, even though they look nothing like fire, but... I never knew, like, noticed that his special goes up and down in the sinks here. That's actually kind of funny. We have a lot of power missiles that are disposed to be. Come here. Nope. Axel. And I missed. Oh my god, my aim right now. Okay. Axel is toast. Bruh. Crazy is definitely one of the TM vehicles of all time. You're not wrong. You change your pants. I'm wearing a diaper, so we're good. Don't you worry. Because I knew this would happen. At least now on Twitch, I won't have a mini heart attack thinking you're gone. This is true. Yep, we'll be we'll be streaming on both from now on because it seems to be going pretty smoothly. And I I was again I was I'm astonished people came to Twitch still. I appreciate every single one of you still coming to Twitch. Even if I am streaming on YouTube again, because uh, I was kind of expecting everybody just to shift back to YouTube and like nobody give a shit about Twitch anymore. So it's nice to have both. Imagine it was an Oreo, but instead of the filling, they put like cleaning stuff that they actually called hydraulics, like bleach. Oh my god, that sounds like a horrible prank. Prank gone wrong. There we go. Ooh, get wrecked. This is probably gonna kill you. Yep, one down. You just tried my ass, dude. Yeah, I've seen multiple channels 404 where I try to go to them. It, it's a weird YouTube glitch. There's no way to really fix it. It's It all started when they introduced the whole like custom channel, like, I don't know what you call it. Handle, I think it was called. Yeah, the channel handles. And what those were, is like now you can just do youtube.com slash at like vicarious nick gaming and like my channel comes up but like before it used to be just a random gibberish amount of numbers and letters with my url for my youtube channel so whenever they implemented that the handles thing is when the 404 errors started and there's no way to fix it oh my oh we actually got a direct hit what I haven't never seen him like 180 like that. That was wild. In the new Twisted Metal game, would you like them to make a car based off the duck in Small Brawl if they ever do make a new Twisted Metal game? Make a car off the duck. I mean, hell yeah, of course. They wouldn't do that, but <laughs> I would definitely love that. That'd be funny as hell. I'm just stacking up right now before we have to fight Trapper. It's sad how much the publishers these days have control over an outcome of a game. Are you kidding me? And then it missed, bruh. You really... Are you... What is happening? Oh, I have 10 of these. My goodness. We were all thinking, wow, Redfall is trash. It's a shame Arcane is going to have made the worst game of 2023, and then Gollum came out. Oh, this is the worst game of the year, and then Kong comes out. <laughs> 2023 had a lot of amazing games, but clearly also a lot of stinkers. That is, that is the facts. Whoa, Monkey Man. Ow. Nice shot. He's just taking it. No, I was so ready to special you, bro. Oh, 
Oh, I didn't mean to drop that, but luckily he ran right into it. Get him with the Rico. Oh, I'm gonna die. Oh, dodged. Oh, let's go with the epic dodge to save us. Yes. The Last of Us 2 Remaster is a joke. Oh my God, don't get me started on that. Oh. I don't even know why the hell they're remastering Last of Us 2. It's like a, what, a three-year-old game? Why does he need a remaster? Jesus. Gollum and Kong games are a, a PSY op founded by Microsoft to distract from Redfall. <laughs> you know what? It sounds like a conspiracy theory, but it's sad to say that probably would not be far-fetched. Like, that could have actually been the case. They were literally meant to come out and be terrible just to take people's eyes off Redfall. To save Microsoft. And to save Phil Spencer. <laughs> you know what will look cool? Uh, oh! Crimson Fury getting crushed underneath the, the giant conveyor belt. Because uh, I agree. Oh, look at them. They're trying so hard right now. That that was actually sad to watch. I, I could, like instinctively hear her screaming like no don't let me go in they were trying so hard to survive and it just didn't matter come on get your ass back here wow how they survived that they blew up like they had no health and they blew up on a, a bomb i don't know how they survived that tm2 moment Black Mr. Uh, TM Black Mr. Grimm, but with the design of Mr. Grimm from Head On. That would look cool. I mean, I'd be down for that because I like I like Head On's Grimm. I still stand by that I think Grimm looks the best in this game. I like the fire and like the one car design. I've never liked having the uh, the sidecar. Bye bye. Actually, you did, boy. Come back here, boy. It can only run so far. Oh! Oh! God dang, dude. These little characters just get so wrecked by the power missiles in this game. Let's see if we can get mine. Get him! Yeah! Let's go. Nothing makes sense anymore. Oh, I should have waited to kill her because she was about to damage Sweet Tooth. She was gonna do an assist for me and I, I fucked it up. Oh my god, that was depression. Woo! All right. Potential announcement of the game awards for a new Twisted Metal. I mean, that is a possibility. I'm crossing my fingies. I don't think it's gonna happen, but I do have my hopes. I just don't want to get my hopes up too high and then get very devastated because I don't, because I, I like the game awards. I don't want to shit on it. So if it's not there, I'm, I will be very upset. But at the same time, like, I, I, I hope it's there, you know what I mean? But I just don't want to get my hopes too high. This game needs our boy Crusher. <laughs> they, imagine out of nowhere they brought back Crusher from TM4. It's the most obscure reference. That would have been so funny. Twist Metal for best adaptation in new game. I hope that they win, dude. If the TV show, if Twist the Metal the TV show wins an award at the Game Awards, like that'll be that would be so huge for the community. It's never gonna happen. Let's let's all be real here. It's not gonna happen because The Last of Us is on that category. And what was the other one? There's another big one. Um, Mario. Yeah, the Mario movie. So. You're putting Twisted Metal up against Mario in The Last of Us? Like, come on, guys. Like, there's no way we're going to win this. I wish that was the case that we would win it, but... Yeah. Sadly there, guys. They got a little bit more popularity. Mario was rushed. I thought it was okay. I, I didn't, like, love it. It was, it, was, it was a popcorn movie. You know what I mean? It's a film that you can put on in the background, like... At a, I don't know, at a, at a party, and you can enjoy it if you sit down and watch it for five minutes. But it's nothing that's gonna leave you with like, wow, that was so good. I gotta tell all my friends about it, or like, I wanna go buy that on Blu-ray. Like, it wasn't that. 
it was good. It just, it wasn't amazing. It wasn't anything like right on the boat. Oh, I'm sure like kids are gonna love, like it's just colorful. It's pretty looking, right? Like, and it had some silly moments in it. Of course it's like kids are gonna love it. And that's 100% their audience they were going for. But I, I wish there would have been a little bit more to the story for me for to like it more, but it was okay. Oh God, are you kidding me? Bruh. It was much harder to work with the TM source material than Last of Us. They did a great job. Oh, a thousand percent. Like, obviously my vote's Twisted Metal. Like that, that one should win in reality. But the popularity vote is going to go to The Last of Us or Mario, sadly. Even though I think the Twisted Metal show did a better job than Last of Us did. And, and I like The Last of Us. Like, I, I like the show. I think Pedro Pastel did amazing. I think, I don't remember her name, but the girl who played Ellie did a really good job. There was some questionable things, like, halfway through the season that I think were kind of mid in terms of directing and, and ideas that they chose to do. But overall, I like the show. Like, I thought it was decent. Who should win game of the year? If I was to vote on just games that I have played, I would say Resident Evil 4 Remake. That, that would be my game of the year. Or Dead Space Remake. And I know there's a controversy around that. Like, it's a remake. That shouldn't be allowed as game of the year. I don't give a fuck, man. If it's a full-blown remake, not a remaster, a remake, where they had to make the engine from scratch, that everything's brand new, um and it's just remade for the new audiences like that's a remake and i think that does count and can be a game of the year and yeah resume 4 and dead space were amazing absolutely had no issues with either one of them but uh but yeah like you know if i was being more honest and fair about it i would probably say boulders gate will probably win what the whoa what was that he did like a side slide. I never, I've never seen that before. I've been seeing some wacky shit today, man. I like, I like my PS5. I don't use it as much as I would like. Though there's not enough games at the moment. Uh, every game I ever want is on PC, except for Spider-Man 2. I. So here's the thing. This is a hot top. This is like a hot take. But I did not like the first Alan Wake. I, I couldn't get into it. I'm a huge survival horror fan. Like, that's by far my favorite genre of games next to, like, first-person shooters. And Alan Wake, I, I don't know why. I literally just could not get into that game. I liked the story. It was intriguing. But the gameplay was so monotonous and boring, and it wasn't scary at all, in my opinion. It was just very bland that I gave up after, like, six hours. I just couldn't do it anymore. I tried it. I gave it my ab absolute most, like, but I just, every extra 10 minutes was just more pain of just boring this. And I wanted to fall asleep. So I gave up on it. And then I saw they were making a second one and I'm like, okay, well, I, I guess maybe I'll give the second one a chance. But then I watched a review on it. And, and of course the review didn't show any spoilers of, or anything, but they said right at the beginning, they were like, if you didn't play the first Alan Wake or like didn't finish it, you are going to be completely lost in the dark with this story because you're not going to understand a thing that's happening to Alan or whatever. And I was like, God damn it. I'm not going to go through and push myself to play the first game again just to play the second game. So I have not played it myself. But I'm sure the second game is great. I, I hope they fix their issues with the first game. Because, again, the story was fine. My, my only issue was the gameplay. It was just so boring. So from the gameplay I have seen of Alan Wake 2. It looks like a lot better combat and stuff like that. So I might try it out someday, but I I don't know. I'll have to watch like a what do you call it? Like a spark notes of the of the story from the first game to know what happened. Only games from Remedy I've ever played were Max Payne, and I loved those games, but yeah, never never played the other ones. Oh, what the fuck? Whoa! We accidentally set off the fire extinguisher. How'd that even happen? I guess with the explosion of my special? <laughs> That's kind of cool. Max Payne 1 and 2 are great, but the movie was god awful. Oh, we don't talk about the movie. I don't care about spoilers. That's why I watch even though you were ahead of me. I appreciate that, Thomas. And it's like, to a degree, I feel bad. You know, I don't want to spoil someone's experience. And obviously, I never like to get my experience spoiled either. 
Like, if I'm playing a single-player game and somebody comes in and like, Yo, did you get to this part where this dude dies? And I'm like, okay, thanks, you fucking asshole. Like, no, I didn't know that guy died yet. Thanks. And that, that is from literal experience. Not necessarily with you guys, but back in the day when I streamed on only Twitch, like, I had many, many occasions where that stuff would happen, and it was so frustrating. Marky Mark, our boy. Thanks for the free spoiler. What? My little man, my little Grim Reaper, what'd you do there? Why'd you do that? Why do I, why do I have environmentals right now? They get rid of those. I watch spoilers because I will forget like five seconds later. <laughs> I guess it depends, right? It depends on the spoiler. I am that way in, some, in certain situations where like if I watch a review on a game, and in the review, they, they like show, I don't know, some spoilery stuff, like to the story or whatever. Like I always forget it when I'm actually playing the game. But if there is a situation where they legitimately like screw up and put in something like a character dying or getting revealed, for instance, like a character I didn't even know that was gonna be in the game. Like that stuff is, is a spoiler that I'll never forget. Like that screwed, that just ruins it for me. Got the big hits now. Nice. Tried to use my special against me. I got Silent Hill 2 spoiled for the YouTube autoplay gimmick. That was fun. Oh my god, I'm so sorry. Most streamers have problems with spoiler and backseaters. Yes. So also welcome in, Burn. And that's why like I can't thank you guys enough for being so amazing as a community these past few months streaming on YouTube and now on Twitch. And for not being that way. I literally have not had to ban one person. So it's been super nice, like having people that are genuine and understand community guidelines and just not to be a douchebag. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, it really is not that hard to, to just be a generous, like not not generous, but a, a decent human being in chat is the best way to describe that. Um, Cause like there is times where even I get excited while, while like watching someone play a certain game that I'm a big fan of. But I know when to like retract my stuff myself and not either a spoil things by accident or try to be back CD and tell them what to do. Because I, I think even more than spoilers, another another big like annoyance for me as a streamer is somebody who will pop in and they'll say, "Hey, do this, do that, do this, like go go there, like you know that that stuff annoys the absolute shit out of me." Now there is a difference if somebody is actually giving me tips and tricks on something. Like if I'm having an issue and I'm legitimately getting angry or upset and you know of a way to do something easier, by all means, like, yeah, like blurt it out, that's fine. As long as it's not a spoiler, I guess, right? But if it's just every single thing you say is just telling me what to do or where to go or like, oh, there's a thing over here that's a secret, like grab that. It's like, uh, okay, like, come on, just hold your horses, let me, play the game if I need help I'll ask you know it's not that hard to, to understand but it does happen quite often not with you guys but just in the past I've noticed it with old streams and it, it is something that is quite common for most streamers so it is tough to put your foot down without being a dick you know I I a thousand percent understand it's tough to hold your tongue like to, where a streamer might be struggling or like missing key thing that went right through him bro what, what the fuck no Peacemeal, why you gotta do that to my boy, dude? Why you gotta be such a fat bitch? Oh my god. That is pain, dude. Wasted two of my specials. Oh, that sucks. Like, I could have detonated them myself, of course, but... <laughs> right through his legs, man. Get him, Peacemeal. All by design. <laughs> oh my god. Onto one of the best endings in the game. This is one of my favorites. Man, you can have your stupid frog back. Little tears been making so much noise, I can't even go inside. Technically, such exuberance is common following radiation. Radiation? <laughs> On second thought, you can keep the frog. Victory! Victory! Oh. <laughs> Nerd wins again. 
That's just so good. His scream is so funny. Oh, that was our full playthrough with Mortimer, a.k.a. Shadow, in Twisted Metal Small Brawl. Thank you so much for watching, everybody. Make sure to leave a like, show story support as always. Subscribe so you don't miss the next one. And make sure you subscribe as well just so you can make it to the next stream if you want to be a part of the amazing chat here and to be here for the live playthroughs. So, yeah, have a good one, everybody. Peace out.